If you know, <laughs> if you know, then you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. He's an old time God. If by chance you made it out to the house of prayer and worship on yesterday, I hope and pray that you receive a message from God. If you was in Mount Mary, I pray you receive a message from God. Hallelujah, somebody. We thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. Thank you for another day's journey. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for another chance to get right where we've been wrong. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. May the God is in to give us comfort. Lord, we ask that you go with us as we go into your word today. God, just be a fence around us. Give us understanding. Out of all you're getting, get understanding. We'll be ever so mindful to give you all the praise. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, we do pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Greetings to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of God, our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and indeed our Redeemer, and his precious and blessed Holy Spirit. Welcome to 7-Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CL Champion, Pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church, down in the great big old city of Sasa, Georgia, Terrell County, that is, where we have in-person worship every second and fourth Sunday right there in the sanctuary. Uh, we just had it uh, yesterday. Oh, Lord, and the Holy Ghost was high. Uh, I pray that wherever you are, you are in a learning environment where Jesus is in the midst and at the center of everything that gets taught. Uh, and, and if that is not the case, then you call on Jesus. And you, uh, you you get yourself in a learning environment. He'll guide you. His Holy Spirit. That's part of the reason. The comforter. That's why he's here. He's the guider. He'll guide us. Hallelujah, somebody. Um, so um, this week, our topic is simple. This week's topic is the Word. Oh, yes, Lord, the word. Today is Monday, the 27th of June. This month is checking out of here in a couple of days. Uh, so now our topic comes from the passage of scripture in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1, where we find these words recorded. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Woo, we going to stop right there. I'm so excited. Look, the Holy Ghost has been moving. God has been busy. Look, if you haven't told the Lord, thank you yet today. Just stop what you're doing. Pause the video and say, Lord, I thank you for this day because you've been so good. Couldn't nobody else do it like you, Lord. I thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. So look, our topic, the Word. The Word. Those strong words, in the beginning. So what is the definition of beginning? In the dictionary, it says that the event consisting of the start of something uh, or, or to take the first step, like in a process or in a course of action, the commencement, the embarking upon, the kicking off, the act or circumstance of entering upon an action or state. The point or time at which something begins, a starting point. Y'all with me? The first part of something, the opening, the start, the, the first part, the preface, the introduction, the forward, the preamble. The opening statement, the opening remarks. <laughs> the prelude, the prologue, the, the first part, the earliest stage of something in the beginning. Was the word? Oh Lord, I wish I had time to develop this today. We got this is seven minute kingdom building. I wish I had time to develop this, but but stay in your word and 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 come back and spend some time with me. Spend some time with the Lord, with the Holy Ghost. I wish mm, mm, mm. the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. But I want you to get this. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Hallelujah, somebody. That means that the word. The word was with God. And the Bible says that the word was God. Who great God Almighty. 
Let's go down a little bit further. You, you, you skip through some verses. You get on down around about the uh, 26th verse. It says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Us. Let us. That means uh, 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 the, 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 the definition of us. That means it's used by a speaker to refer to himself and one or more other people as the object of a verb or a preposition. <laughs> I wish I had a witness here. God went by himself. He said, let us make man. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Okay, so, <laughs> so God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he him. The Bible says, male and female created he them. Isn't the Lord all right? Uh, that is all I have to tell you this evening. That's it. This is, we starting out the week. <clears throat> the word. John said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. The word. So what, what, is, what do you get from that? The word is Jesus. Jesus is God's word made flesh. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. That's all I have to tell you today. <laughs> As we pray, Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, and with the witness of your Holy Spirit, Lord, we tell you, thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for Jesus' sacrifice on Calvary. Thank you for your Holy Spirit here to guide us and to give us comfort. Thank you, Lord, for an opportunity to get back to you. Oh, Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. And it's in Jesus' name we do pray. We ask that you bless everybody. Within the sounds of my voice, Lord, we, those who might see the broadcast, uh, uh, Lord, and, and all of your children, wherever they may be, all over this world, all of those who call your son Jesus as their Messiah, as their, mm, 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 who, Lord, as, as, as him being the propitiation for their sins, for our sins, Lord, we thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray. And every child of God said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. The Word. Hallelujah, somebody. I hope you are excited about the Word. Hallelujah. Um, so now, please, ma'am, please, sir, share this Word with somebody, with anybody, with everybody. Just let them know the Word. The Word was made flesh. And He dwelt with us. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Praise the Lord. Now, I remember the old church, Grandmama and them, they, 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 when, the, when the church was after the Holy Ghost then came and, and set the whole church on fire with the Word of God, somebody would come out with, Blessed be the time that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that of love. And then, of course, we need it out with, oh, Man, God bless you. God keep you. Hope to see you tomorrow. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.